Suriname is where I come from. It's where I grew up. And all these colors and views and people and food, it's a great part of who I am. I remember as a little girl running through Jerusalem's streets and basically it's like, uh, I feel like Jerusalem is like my mother and it's a big part of my soul. It's inside me, I think without, if I hadn't grown up with all these colors and views and ethnical diversions, um, I would be a very different person to what I am today. I think I can say that for me, music is my wings. It's my way to fly. And I've always believed that there is another world apart from the world we're living in. This world is very materialistic and it can't be that only what we see here and we can feel with our hands is real. I was always singing since I was a very little girl. My mom says that she saw me singing when I was two years old. I don't know if uh, to believe her, but that's what she says. But when you grow up and you decide that this is going to be your profession, you need to find the reason, you need to find the depth to why to continue to do this, what's the meaning of it. And that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to find what I wanted to sing, to find my identity, to find the style I wanted to create in, to combine everything I love so much into one style that I sing traditional songs from and also write in. And Ladino just connects everything I love it comes from the Jews. I'm a Jewish person and I'm very close to my religion and to my Jewish identity. Ladino is a language, Ladino is a culture, Ladino is music. It comes from the Jewish people that left Spain in the 15th century. After the Jews were forced to leave Spain, they ran away to many countries around the Mediterranean. They ran away to Bulgaria, to Morocco, to Turkey, to Greece. and. Uh, that's how basically this culture was created, Ladino. When, when I grew up, I started to want to be more interested in where I come from, in my roots. I discovered that my family, from my mother's side, they, they are basically uh, Spanish descendants as well. background is like that, that uh, from my mother's side we are Moroccans, my grandparents, they were both from Marrakesh and they came to live in a city called Nazareth. And um, from my father's side we are Persians, but I have to remind you that I am a second generation in Israel, so my parents were already born in Israel here. and. I have all their influences around me, you know, I inhaled it as a little girl until now. I think the biggest cultural influence on me is probably, probably comes from my mother's side, from the Moroccan side. And uh, I remember as a little girl, when we used to visit my grandparents in Nazareth, we used to sleep in their living room on mattresses. And while all my brothers and sisters were asleep, I couldn't sleep. Also my grandfather, Shalom, he was staying awake all night as if something was haunting him and as a little girl I remember hearing him singing and humming all these melodies that to me they sounded like something was wrong with him like something was really painful for him like he was tortured by something like his soul was torturing him maybe it wanted to be somewhere else 
other than Nazareth, maybe back in his Moroccan village. <laughs> Today I know that these melodies I heard my granddad sing are called Piyutim and they are religious texts. And um, as a teenager I decided that I wanted to go deeper into my roots to understand to understand where I come from, to understand my my family's background. And so I found this teacher who is an oud player that lives in Jerusalem. He also come, comes from Morocco. And every Friday we had lessons in, our, in his house. Um, we had an hour lesson. He was teaching me the makamat, the scales, and some of those texts and melodies. While their house was getting filled with smells of Shabbat and uh, the atmosphere, the very special atmosphere that Shabbat has in Jerusalem. When I told my grandfather that I was learning these songs, this piyutim, he was absolutely thrilled. And ever since then, we occasionally meet to sing together. <laughs> What really attracts me to Ladino, a part of the, the reason that I'm really attracted to it, is because it's from mothers to their daughters to their children. That's like a cycle. And my mother used to sing us all over the day. She was walking around the house and uh, making the house work and singing. And the songs were, were was always part of uh, our life. My mother and I, are very good friends, we're very close. And uh, she's a very special woman, very creative. She also writes many of the texts to the songs that I write. Since I, I feel very symbiotic to my daughter, uh, sometimes I, I write poems uh, to her, songs to her, like I feel what she feels. And she's always been singing to me since I was a baby. I used to fall asleep and wake up again to her voice. She's a great, part of me and I'm very happy that I have such a mom. that you do something very valuable. Like this language is dying. And, um, and, you, and you bring something, you, 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 if, if young people, more and more young people will sing in this language and will create in this language, it will survive. It will go on. Not only in the academic, in the university, but as a, a daily language. And uh, 
That's very important.